ask Reddit by Coffer Dogs and Ween. People who don't exercise or work out, why don't you? I'm dealing with epilepsy and finding the right medication. I'm constantly tired, and that's one of my seizure triggers. I'm honestly terrified that I'll injure myself if I have a seizure while exercising. I feel you. Just got diagnosed and my whole life has been upended. I'm terrified to sleep and I'm scared to work out. Had to change jobs and can't drive. I work construction and honestly after working all day going up and down ladders and moving equipment, I am all set. Over the last few years I lost almost 20 kilograms of weight. Went from a desk job to handling a workshop full of machines. Setting up and moving heavy metal parts all day. Plus I commute to x8 kilometers a day by bicycle if the weather permits it. Edit, guys you can't stop telling me that it's actually exercise lol, I think I understood. I used to and it feels good when it's done but I absolutely hate every second of it. It's more fun if you have somebody to run exercise with but I don't so it's very hard to motivate myself to do something I really don't like. Can you describe how you feel when you're done with your workout? I'm wondering if there's something wrong with my brain. I hear people talk about a high either during or after a workout, but I've never felt that before. Even when I was doing a fairly vigorous workout 3-4 times a week, I didn't feel good afterwards. The only feeling I get is a general sense of accomplishment, but I don't ever experience a physical or mental uplift. It's like brushing my teeth I know that it's good for me in the long run, but I don't feel any better after doing it. Are you the same way or do you actually feel different afterwards? I'm a long haul truck driver, and I'm female. I'm not going to walk around a skeezy truck stop, that's a tragedy waiting to happen. I try to do what I can in the sleeper berth, some sit ups and flutter kicks, but it's hard to get any kind of exercise when I'm on a tight schedule, sitting behind the wheel for 11 hours a day, and don't have any place I feel safe walking. Valery Fedorenko is one of the greats and started making videos of kettle bull workouts for truck drivers. We have encountered some folks who love it, here's one of his videos, https colon slash slash, yautu, dot be, slash 6 dc yaz dash pfl8 close bracket. Power to all female truck drivers. I'm going to start tomorrow. I'm gonna start next year. Really take it seriously. I work a very physical demanding job and I consider that my workout lol. I need to get back into the gym though. I feel the same way. I lift at the very least 1000 pieces of luggage per day. I struggled at first but not anymore, and the last thing I want to do after doing that for 12 hours is get home a train. I wasn't athletic growing up. I hated gym class almost as much as gym class hated me. We never reconciled. I also have zero discipline. I was the kid that never did my homework but got by on the tests and papers. I still blow off daily routines. Edit, I do lack discipline for things I don't enjoy but I ended up finding my passion, worked very hard and now have career doing what I love. I just still really hate running. Oof. Are we the same person? I didn't hate gym class so much in elementary school, but junior high started a lifelong hatred of exercise. Now that I'm thinking about it, my gym teachers were just really nasty and prone to making fun of unathletic kids while favoring the football and amp, track team kids. Blue. I walk that's all I feel like doing. That's me I walk all over my college campus. Both to get to class and because it's a nice campus I may not be working out, but at least I'm closing the green ring on my Apple Watch. Just don't have the motivation not depressed or anything, just don't want to. Exactly, I have the desire to but no umph to actually do it. Even when I do get motivated enough to actually start the routine, it only lasts a few weeks, maximum. I've weighed the same sign high school, I'm 47 and work a physical job. There's no way I need any more exercise than I get throughout my normal days. Pain. 
I do anything even slightly wrong. Pain. I don't do anything. Surprise. Also pain. My wife doesn't exercise at all, and I work out 5-6 days a week. She still looks more fit than I do. I'll hate her for you. Never liked feeling out of breath. It was always a horrible feeling and I couldn't understand how anyone could like working out. Turned out I had exertional asthma asthma. Even well medicated I don't like the feeling. I eat healthy and have an active job and free time but I don't do anything extra. My asthma fires up from exertion too. Cardio will never be for me. My brain writes exercise checks that my ass won't cash. Chronic pain. I don't want to. Knock it off with the long winded excuses. I have trouble motivating myself, probably due to depression. I know logically that it's not that bad and sometimes even feels good, but I just never do it. I honestly feel the same way. Depression can literally suck the life out of you and the lack of motivation that follows furthers the depression into a spiral. Because I absolutely hate it. I've tried several different types of exercise, some I can't do due to knee issues, but regardless of the type of exercise, I absolutely hate it. I dread getting ready to do it, I count minutes until it's over. I just cannot see how people enjoy it. Doesn't relieve stress for me. It causes stress. This is also how I feel about it too. Cuz fuck you that's why. Now in all seriousness, I left the military not too long ago. My body hurts. I just wanna chill for a while. Enjoy the cartilage that's left in my knee for a bit. I'll get back on it eventually. Or maybe not who knows, like I said, fuck you. Well not you OP, I meant society. Edit, thanks for the award. Edit, also thank you for all the advice brothers sisters. I'm glad I'm not the only one feeling like this and I appreciate all the advice. Hope you're la taking care. Change them socks to lol. No fucks delivered my way. Enjoy your cartilage. It's boring. I have no motivation. There is always other things I rather do. I was going to go with I'm just lazy. But yeah I agree with this too. Recovering anorexic with retaining osteoponia. I'll do bits here and there and I walk a lot, but my main focus is exercising only for fun and or health benefits. That means that as much as I might benefit from weightlifting or long runs, they aren't safe for me to do without a friend in case I become obsessive again. Do fun exercise. Stay active, but also stay happy. That's my motto. Sometimes I do nothing. Sometimes I climb a mountain. I try to do enough in between that that's not crazy, UK mountains lol. I just want to be fit enough to do what I want. It's been 8 years since I was actively anorexic but I still worry and struggle with this. I even had periods of the opposite. But every time I start working out or eating right I go to extremes. I'm trying now to start making better choices but no calorie counting, etc. I refuse to do it now because I know it's so easy for me to just slip back to that. I think I'm going to try and take some sort of fun class that includes exercise and take up some hobby like dancing or something. I know I need to change for my health but I definitely want to be cautious. I'm an amputee and I can only wear a prosthetic about 30% of the time, and any rigorous activity that makes we sweat causes sores and discomfort. I also have shoulder arthritis so any lifting causes pain. I can swim a little bit, but can't really afford a membership to anywhere with a lap pool. Because it's so incredibly boring that it's hard to keep up for as long as it takes, both time wise each workout and consistency with workouts, to feel or see any motivating results. Don't you get that great high after a workout? Comma no. I feel tired and sweaty. I'm convinced that I must be missing something when it comes to working out. All my friends do it. They go to the gym, they do sports. 
I feel like exertion without engagement is incredibly boring at the best of times. I used to exercise a lot. It never really helped with my depression. Then the first time in my life I stopped for about 2 years and I've gained 30 pounds. As I was getting back into it cause I was tired of being overweight and hate my body like this, I torn my ACL and meniscus in my knee at work and need open knee surgery. Now of course because I can't, I wish so desperately I could work out again. I'm exhausted from work and like to use my free time on things I actually find enjoyable. Life is short and I don't care if I'm a good looking corpse. Edit, the amount of people giving me shit for not working out. You don't have to work out to lead a healthy life. A decent diet and avoiding certain vices in moderation is enough for most people. The reality is I have a lot of demands on my time and an hour 3-4x a week in the gym for something I no longer enjoy is not time well spent for me. I did is for you good for you but my health is just fine without it thank you very much. Honestly. I fall in and out of the gym frequently, but when I do it's because I'm damn busy and the free time for hobbies, of which I consider working out, is reduced down to an hour or so. Which I use to play music. I've not been to a gym in years. I absolutely hate them. However, I started doing parkrun. UK, a few years ago, a free weekly 5k run walk, which happened simultaneously in many parks all over the world every Saturday morning. Since the first time I received a result to my phone, I got hooked and just wanted to beat it. Needless to say, I am a lot fitter now than I was. I find everything about exercising demotivating, having to put time aside to do something I don't enjoy feels like a waste of time, all the sweating. Straining, struggling, waiting for results to show, it makes me hate having to do it. Funny enough, I didn't hate the pain and soreness that typically came with every type of workout I've ever tried. I would rather do things that require physical activity like raking the yard. Combining the effort with a clear beginning and end plus accomplishing a task are the only way I can wrap my head around a workout. I've got two kids, 12 pets, a 9 hour job and would like to relax on the little time I free up for myself. 12 pets. Jesus. I can barely handle the one kid and one pet. Deleted. I used to not work out. I still don't but I used to too. Because I work 14 hour days, and have a 2 year old. Yup. I tried to do a home workout yesterday and it pretty much was my 15 month old crawling all over me while I tried to do sit ups. My 12 hour shifts at work are exhausting, my first day off I'm too tired, and the other 3 days I have a lot to do and little energy. I actively hate it. Doesn't make me feel good, makes me angry when I'm bad at it, or someone is yelling at me to do better. I'm stubborn and am prone to giving up when I can't do it perfectly the first time. Only exercise I've ever enjoyed is yoga, I think because there is a do the best you can, and it's okay if you fail mentality. So whatever endorphins people get, I get the opposite. Any amount of exercise that even slightly raises my heart rate or makes me sweat makes me incredibly angry. Like I get rage filled and stay grumpy and irritable 4 hours afterwards. It can ruin a full day easily. I've tried a lot of ways to exercise fun dance classes, lifting, yoga, swimming, hit cardio alone with podcasts, jogging in the cold, team sports no difference. Still just leave feeling like I want to angrily claw my own skin off my body. I get really sad. Just so upset before and after. It's very frustrating. I have a heart condition that makes it difficult to because I have depression and anxiety and it's very difficult to find the motivation. However when I'm not in the middle of a depression spell and I do find a little motivation I go hard. I hate being out of breath. I feel like I'm dying. I use an inhaler but the agony is still too much. Also traumatized from the 2 mile runs in high school pay before I was diagnosed with asthma. I'm flat out lazy. 
with two small children and a full-time job, I don't have time for sleep let alone working out. Have you seen the cost of food these days I'm holding on to the budget brings I paid for it. It's uncomfortable, and satisfying, difficult and boring. My boobs hurt and I can't bear to buy a humongous sports bra. I really wish I could enjoy exercise or at least tolerate it, but I just can't, I loathe it. Bro I have tried every sports bra and none help. They either dig into my shoulders and cause pain or offer no support so there's pain from bouncing. It's horrible. I remember it was easier when I was a flat chested teenage girl before I got bobber bops. I'm afraid to step into a gym because of my weight. I'm a plus size woman and I know it's silly to say but I just feel too self conscious. I'm also out of habit with routine and let myself go over lockdown and I just can't find motivation to do it. Lazy if you will I've had 3 gym memberships over the past few years and cancel them because I waste them. I get people don't care what you think at the gym most of the time, it's more an internal hate making me think that, considering I was healthy before I put on the weight and now looking at old photos it just gets me in my head about it. Should also add I did do gear coaching for a while but life got in the way, so I haven't been completely inactive. Just lacking motivation as a whole. I don't know if this helps but if your gym is close by, try walking there. If you turn around and walk home without going inside then you have at least gotten a walk in. I did this when I was struggling to get back to working out after the pandemic closures and a severe injury. Eventually I went in and did a few stretches, worked up to some cardio and eventually joined a spin class. I am down 20 pounds since July 2021 and became a certified yoga teacher in August. When I look back it seems incredible but it was just really small incremental steps over time. You got this. I medically can't run, bike, lift weights, use treadmills, or play sports due to a nerve issue even though I was able to hike 21-14-000 peaks in the last few summers. Weird I know. Hiking seems like the only thing I can do as long as I am careful on the downhills. Chronic fatigue syndrome. Exercise and a lot of physical activity will cause me to crash. Sometimes for several days. I'm tired. I've got three kids, a deployed husband, and a non-existent thyroid with hormones that won't balance. One of those kids is disabled. I volunteer at the school daily, I volunteer at church, I lead Girl Scouts. I do laundry and scrub bathrooms and cook so many meals. I know that exercise will give me energy, but where do I find the energy to exercise? You gotta get rid of some of them kids. Kinda hard to do most of the useful ones in a wheelchair, and in my particular case, a non-usable left arm leaves out free weights and other arm exercises. 1. Boring as fuck. 2. Pain. 3. Depressed AF. 4 sitting and laying enthusiast. This being said I just got a treadmill and I'm going to start stupid fucking walking every day even though I really 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 don't mother fucking want to. I don't want to die at age 45 and unfortunately working the fuck out and eating healthy is what it takes, god damn it. Motivation mostly. I really don't enjoy it, so trying to force myself is super hard. Plus, I despise sweating even in hot weather, just makes me feel dirty. I walk a lot with my job and other social activities, so I'm okay for now. Currently, my job is 15 minute walking distance from my home, and I spend most of my job walking around and carrying stuff. So I don't really need a gym. Recovering from COVID. Slowly getting back to my free weights and push-ups, but I'm still exhausted most of the time. No time, no energy, no willpower, no cash. I really wish I could, but I'm about 10 kilograms below a healthy weight. I know that it would be such a struggle for me to eat enough food to justify exercise, and I don't want to jeopardize my physical health anymore. Maybe one day. Took so much scrolling to find a comment like this.
I don't eat enough so exercising seems like it would make it even worse.